Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, we went fishing yesterday, trying to catch some Spanish, trying to catch enough to sell, and it just didn't happen. It was rough, it was blowing, it was a terrible day. Um, we actually only were able to put one Spanish in the box, man. It was quite disappointing. But on the radio, it was a cry fest all day. But anyway, as I pulled the fish into the boat, it hit me that I've never told anybody how you tell the difference between a Spanish mackerel and a king mackerel because they look so much alike, you know, when they're when the king mackerels are small. So watch this Live video action, folks. and uh, hopefully this will explain. Hey, he's pulling. Oh, he just come off. Put too much heat on them and come off. Fish on here. I don't know what it is. We're gonna find out. See, he never comes out of gear. We're still fishing. Still fishing. The other rod over there. I just turned the camera off and dag on if it didn't bite. Decent little pool. Oh, okay, okay. I think it's a false albacore, which is fine. Y'all can talk crap about falses if you want to. We eat them. Hey, that's a nice, it's either a nice Spanish or a juvenile king. I want you to look at the size of that Spanish, buddy. Hey, right, he grown, son. Hey, turn back around. That's what we've been waiting on right there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all see that? Mac tree. That's one of the oldest daggone baits you can buy. They're like eight bucks. I thought it was a falsy at first. That's a nice one there. Well, let's do it again. Pretty. All right, the way you tell the difference between a Spanish mackerel like a juvenile king mackerel has spots like this, but they're gray. But if you don't know the difference, on a Spanish mackerel, you pull their dorsal fin up and it's black, just like that. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little short video, but I just wanted to give you that little tip when you catch uh, Spanish mackerel and king mackerel in the spring and also in the fall and throughout the summer as well, but mostly during the fall. That's when the, the juvenile kings move in and they look just like a Spanish mackerel, you know, for the, if you don't have the experience or you're not used to seeing them side by side or whatever, a uh, king mackerel has little gray specks and the Spanish mackerel has yellow specks. But the easiest way to tell is, like I said, lift up that dorsal fin and on the Spanish it's black and on the king mackerel it's transparent. Hope you liked the video. Go like it, share it, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.